Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Sheila Chandran. 222 MPs sworn in as Parliament holds its first session on Monday. Elizabeth Louis files this report. 222 MPs were sworn in on the first day of the 12th parliamentary sitting today. Among them, 99 MPs are new while 82 are from the opposition parties, while one is independent. The young Dipertuan Agong Tuanku Mizan Zainal Abidin is expected to officially open Dewan Rakyat and Dewan Negara tomorrow. The parliamentary sitting will kick off with a Q&A session on Wednesday, followed by debates on the speech by the young Dipertuan Agong. Elizabeth Louis, The Star, Malaysia. Datuk Dr. Wan Junaidi Tuanku Jaffa and Datuk Ronald Kiandi were voted as deputy speakers in the Dewan Rakyat Monday. Dr. Wan Junaidi received 157 votes and Kiandi has 140 votes. Members of Parliament cast their votes by writing down two names on a piece of paper with their names and signatures. Speaker Tan Sri Pandika Amin Mulia announced the result after ballot papers were calculated. Penang Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng says rerouting the Entrepreneur and Cooperative Development Ministry funds by a different body such as MARA is a new form of colonialism. Lim hopes Minister Datuk No Omar would reconsider the decision as such a move would give a wrong impression to the public. For years, it has been the practice by the Ministry to channel funds worth 100 million ringgit a year to the respective state economic development corporations. However, on Saturday, No announced that the funds would be channeled via MARA to prevent the riot from being, quote, victimised, unquote. A minor fire at the Tanaga National Berhad High voltage substation in the city centre caused panic among hundreds of office workers in nearby buildings. Johor Bahru Fire and Rescue Department Officer M. Ramachandra says his department received an emergency call and rushed to the scene immediately with a fire engine and eight firemen. He says the estimated losses reported by TNB were about 40,000 ringgit with no reports of fatality. He added that this incident could have been, prevent, could have been due to power overloading and that TNB had provided a temporary generator to continue supplying electricity to the area. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Sheila Chandran. Thanks for watching.